What's up YouTube? Welcome back to our channel. Today it's going to be a little different. We're not going to do, well this obviously is not a fitness video or you would see us at the gym right now. Today I'm actually going to repot my pepper plant. It's a sweet banana pepper plant and I planted it from seeds on December 4th of 2015 and we are now in May. So it's pretty young but he's growing pretty nicely. And to be honest, this is one of my first things I've ever planted. And I'm pretty excited. It's like my baby. I like cherish it and love it so much. <laughs> so he's getting pretty big. It's time to repot him. Um, I'm pretty sure his roots are all the way at the bottom. And I actually really want to repot him because I've seen little tiny ants walking around like the stem and in the dirt. And I don't know, that just really turns me off. I don't feel like I want that on my pepper plant. <laughs> So I'm going to repot him actually in this. It's a pretty drastic size difference, but I think he'll be okay. So first thing I'm going to do to this bucket is drill some holes at the bottom for drainage. I already drilled one, so you can see what it looks like. Pretty good. I'm going to drill quite a few, so let's get to it. So you're going to want to use a drill bit that's pretty thick in diameter. I really don't know the size of mine, I stole it from my dad. But you want it thick enough so that the plant can drain well. You want to make sure it's obviously it's on tight on the drill. And slowly drill your holes where you want them. It's going to take a while guys. <laughs> I drilled about 14 holes in my bucket and I could have done more but I had to stop myself because I was going a little hole crazy. And towards the end of this, everybody with OCD, you guys are going to want to kill me because I put the center hole not so centered. <laughs> I was afraid if I put it right on the top of that nipple, I was going to hurt myself. There you go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do after drilling the holes in my bucket is get some of my potting mix. I'm using miracle Grow, just regular old potting mix. Um, I'm going to put it in this little bucket, and I have to moisten it up. Because if you don't moisten your soil or potting mix before you put your plant in it, once you actually put it inside of the bucket, all the, the soil is going to soak up the moisture from inside of the plant, and your plant's going to dry out. So you want to make sure that your soil is moist. Not drenched, but moist. This is just regular water. Okay. I'm making a mess. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use one of these. Actually, no. I'm gonna use this. you could mix your fertilizer in with your potty mix if you'd like. I'm actually not going to mix anything because later on I'm just going to put some food inside of the potty mix. Okay, so I think that's good enough. I obviously can't feel it with my hands, but it's clumping together, so it's a little moist. Okay. So, after drilling the holes in my bucket, I went ahead and filled it with some river rocks that I washed. That's about an inch or an inch and a half of river rocks. The rocks are to help with the drainage because if you don't have good drainage you might get root rot which is really bad for your plant. It's when the moisture stays inside of the mix and it has no way to escape so obviously moisture, heat, that does not equal happiness. You get a lot of fungus and it's pretty bad. It's brutal. <laughs> so I'm going to put some of my moist potty mix on top of my inch and a half of river rocks. Alright, 
I'm just gonna pour it. <laughs> that will do it. So once you fill your bucket with your potting mix slash soil or whatever you're using, you would want to make sure it's packed in there. But you don't want to pack it in too tight because you don't want to get rid of any, well not all the air bubbles because your plant needs that for the roots to grow. You can't have really compact soil or the roots aren't going to have any room to like spread out and like do their thing. <laughs> so I'm going to put more in here because I need a little bit more. Pack it in real good. And I think that's enough space. Okay. Now we're going to take it out of its original pot. And this is so scary to me because I don't want to hurt my little plant. It's my little baby. You got to take care of the roots. Be careful not to hurt the roots or this could go really bad. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Side. You want to like pat the sides and loosen it up because it's been here for quite a while. I'm obviously going to take out the stakes too. Oh, I forgot I have it wrapped around my stakes with some wire. I remember when they were just little seedlings. We've come such a long way. It's so hot. He just loves making it impossible to work. I'm trying to be extra careful, but it's slightly difficult. Alrighty then. As you can see, I have those stakes in there for a reason. My plant is so heavy that it can't really hold itself up without that little bit of support. So this 
is actually a few plants in one, but I'm gonna put them all inside the same bucket. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna make it work. It'd actually be smarter if you separate the smaller plant from the bigger plant because the small plant can suck up all the, the nutrients from the soil and the big plant's gonna need that to flourish. But I think we'll be okay. Okay, one way to tell if your plant is ready to be repotted, as you can see, all the roots are at the bottom. So that container was beginning to get a little small for this, so it's gonna need more space to flourish. Here we go. All right, and before you put it in here, you wanna loosen up the roots so that it can have more, more space so it can wiggle around. So just loosen them up a little bit. Loosen the dirt. Oh my god. This is a lot harder than it looks, guys. It smells so good. I don't know if it's just me, but I just love the smell of like plants. <laughs> oh no, I lost the weed. So I've centered my plant and I'm trying to keep it steady so it's not wobbling around everywhere. So now, carefully, I'm gonna get more soil. I might need to mix some more. I'm gonna grab this little thingy. Fill up the sides around the plant. I'm gonna need my hands. <laughs> So I went ahead and filled out my bucket with my potting mix. I'm patting it down at the top so it's nice and tight. All right. Um, at this point, you can put in your stakes or your wire fence or whatever you want to put to support your plant. Obviously, look, my plant is a little bit help. <laughs> so in this case, I bought these bamboo stakes at Walmart, they were like three dollars for like a pack of all of these, and they're like four feet tall. It's a pretty good deal. It really doesn't matter if they're too big because your plant's gonna grow into them. So as your plant grows, you can attach them, attach it to the bamboo stick. I'm gonna put one right here. wire but it's covered in plastic so it's not going to hurt your plant. And I'm going to tie it from the stem, or the base, excuse me. Now it's not going to be too tight, it's just going to be enough so that it doesn't flop around everywhere. That's about it. Looking good. Now I'll grab 
another one. Just put it where I think we need a little support, which is obviously this little guy right here. going on in here that I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, there we go. I don't even tie these really. I just kind of wrap them around to where they have to be wrapped. Because if you tie them, you could risk bruising your plant. And you don't want that. Okay, so the last stick is going to go for the little sucker that's sucking up all the nutrients and not growing any fruit. But I'm scared to take him off because I don't want to hurt the roots for my other plant. So I'm going to stick him up. <laughs> Eventually, I'll just prune him. By pruning, I mean, I don't know if I'm even using the terminology correctly, but by pruning, I mean chopping him to a point where he's not going to grow back. So like right at the root. Not the root, but like at the base of the plant. Okay, so here's my third stick. I'm gonna need another stick. <laughs> Alrighty, and my sweet banana pepper plant is good to go. So after this, I have to water it so the soil can settle. So I'm just going to give it a nice long drink. same thing to my other two banana pepper plants. They're not even banana peppers, excuse me. I'm going to do the same thing to my other two pepper plants. However, uh, this one right here. This is a ghost viper pepper. As you can see, he needs a little TLC. My supervisor actually brought him into me and he told me he wasn't loving on him pretty much. So I'm going to help him out and I'm going to repot him and he's going to hopefully grow some spicy peppers. Another one I have is this little bad boy. This is a habanero pepper plant. And he needs a little bit of TLC also. My supervisor gave me this as well. Um, this was actually gifted to him by somebody else. However, my supervisor has quite a few pepper plants, so he didn't really need this one. So he just gifted it to me because he knows I like peppers. Oh, 
All right, guys. So I'm going to do the same thing to my other two plants. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something, even if you don't even plant your own stuff. Hopefully you learned something from this video. It's really hot outside, so let me get to this so I can hurry up and go inside and get some lemonade or something. <laughs> Bye!